Compared to other dinosaurs, this guy was medium in size, which is wild, and makes me wonder, how big were the rest of them? If you lined up a bunch of dinosaurs from smallest to largest, you'd see the teeny little Anchiornis, just a little bit bigger than a basketball. You'd see the Compsognathus, the size of a small chicken. The famous Velociraptor would actually be here. Except in real life, they were about this big, which is, uh, not the size they looked in Jurassic Park. And newer research shows that they didn't look like that. Velociraptors had feathers. To be fair to Jurassic Park though, they didn't know that. The reason the Velociraptors don't have feathers is because we didn't know <sighs> that those kind of dinosaurs had feathers at the yeah. time. In 1998, this discovery in China changed our understanding of what some dinosaurs looked like. And other discoveries since have confirmed that more dinosaurs had feathers than we thought. And there's still a lot of debate about what the color and the outside appearance of dinosaurs actually looked like. We'll get to that in a minute. One step bigger than the Velociraptor would be the Nyasasaurus, about the size of a German Shepherd. Then our Pachyrhinosaurus would be here. One of my favorites, the Triceratops, was about the height of an Asian elephant, but much longer. Here's the Stegosaurus and the T-Rex. From here on, the sizes get nutty. These dinosaurs were bigger than school buses. They were taller than buildings. One of the largest known dinosaurs, the Argentinosaurus, was about as long and heavier than a commercial airplane. Can you imagine what it was like when these animals walked the earth? 